Well, despite all the traffic woes, this was a great weekend to get out and visit the fair or the park or really anything outdoors. KJ, I'm not surprised by the crowds there. I mean, it was just a perfect weekend to go do something like that. That's right, Bill. Hopefully everyone soaked up the sunshine for this weekend because now we're going from a stretch of dry days to rain each and every day for this week. We're going to have daily rain chances, so take a look at the weather headlines. So for the week ahead, starting tonight, the rain will start to build in and fill in across the area, not looking at any widespread rain for the overnight hours, but we will begin to see those temperatures falling as well. So cooler temperatures, if I may, and more rainfall each and every day. Let's take a look at what's happening right Right now, this is a live look at radar. Notice most of us are dry at this time, but we're seeing some green here. This is to our west, and this is an indication of the showers that are happening right now, and they will begin to move in. I want to show you the focus of the rainfall, and this is coming from a cold front back to our west, and it's going to drive up the rain chances. This is all going to move in our direction over the course of the week. So the slow moving system is going to keep the rain chances around, which means unsettled weather for us throughout the week. So taking a look right now for tonight through at least eight to 10 o'clock, most of us will still stay dry, but we are getting some indication that the rainfall is going to move in our direction. So the mountains, the foothills will spread in a little bit more. So where you have that drizzle now, you'll likely have some steadier showers through tonight, and then we'll have that scattered rainfall overnight into the day tomorrow. Your morning commute not likely to be a soggy one, but we will have a few showers around making for a few slowdowns out there for the morning drive. Scattered rainfall as you see it here through three to five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So that evening commute could be a wet one as we'll have some pockets of heavier showers likely to set up into your day tomorrow and we'll eventually see the rainfall beginning to taper off a little bit, but it doesn't end there. Unfortunately, through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, the rain chances are going up each and every day. We're going to see these rain chances getting even higher. Therefore, the totals are going to stack up so we could pick up anywhere from two to three inches of rainfall with isolated higher amounts because the rain is going to happen over a span of several days as opposed to just one day a dump of showers. We will likely avoid any significant flooding uh, events. However, we will have the potential for some flash flooding where we have some of those showers hitting the same areas over and over again. So take a look at this, the flash flood threat outlook Tuesday. We'll begin to see it advancing a little bit more, covering more ground mainly along and west of I-77. We'll continue to see that risk for a low risk, if I may, of flash flooding, but it is a potential for the middle of the week. Tonight, not a concern there for your morning commute as well. Tomorrow, temperatures coming in around 80. We'll have a few showers around for today. Tomorrow, the afternoon time period looks to be the wettest part of the day. And once again, by Tuesday, there's going to be a better coverage of rainfall as well as intensity of some of those showers. The seven day outlook, you see it here. Notice the next seven days, at least in that six days, we're going to have a chance of rainfall. So beginning Monday, we'll have a 40% chance by Tuesday, 60, 80 by Wednesday. As you see it there, Wednesday with the rainfall temperatures down into the 70s and we'll stay below average in terms of daytime highs as well throughout the week. Bill.